Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about unit unit parabolic function or parabolic signal. So as if in the previous tutorials, we are going through discrete and continuous. Even in this also, we'll be going through discrete and continuous. So it is defined at in continuous p of t parabola. So p t is nothing but for continuous t is equals to t square by two. T should be greater than or equal to zero. Zero otherwise. So the graph will be something like this. Right? Fine. So now let us see the situation in discrete thing. So in discrete it is p of n is equals to n square by two for n greater than or equal to zero. Zero otherwise. So it keeps on increasing slowly. So if we substitute the value at zero, at zero it equal to zero at one. It is equals to 0.5 at 2. It equals to 2 at 3. It equals to 9 by 2. That is nothing but 4.5 at 4. It equals to 8. Like that, it moves on, guys. If you just plot them approximately, and if you draw a dotted line according to the according to that curve, you will be getting a parabola, guys. So that's how we can represent that. So I hope everyone is now clear with. Unit parabolic function. So, if you observe that, how I'm just remembering all these things is that unit means it has no negative values. Else. All the negative values will be zeros. So, if it is a unit step, it has a single step. If it is a unit parabola, it will be parabola. If it is a unit ramp function, it increases accordingly with the value of t or n equally. Fine. So, in the next level, we'll be going through unit impulse function. Thank you. Thanks for watching.